Well, howdy diddly dandy there, charms as I, Captain of the Steves. Got myself a lovely cup of coffee this morning, people. Now, I've had a few people say to me, Captain Steve, I've already got an Exomech frame. I've got the hard frame from the Sentinel expedition and the, the whole Sentinel sort of path. Yeah, yeah, so have I on my legacy PlayStation save. So I've ended the expedition on my PlayStation save. Now, if you haven't seen the video on how to actually export your Exomet parts from the expedition, I suggest you do. Hit that one up if you haven't ended your expedition, if you haven't claimed your Exomet parts. I've done all that that's in that previous video first and brought it over into this save. So now all I've got to do is put down my Exomet, which I think I, I already did that. Where's my Exomet? There's my Exomet there. Now, look at this. This is the Exomech that I have on this save right now, people. So if I go into my actual screen here, that's how my Exomech looks right now. It's already got a snazzy new arm. It's got two snazzy new arms. It's got new legs. It's got a new hard frame. So what happens when I put in the stuff that I just got from the expedition? Well, chums, we're going to find out because I've heard all sorts of weird and wonderful things. I guess here we go. Let's install this. So let's go and put this right arm next to that right arm. Let's stick that there. Boom. Oh, OK. Well, it has replaced it. I had some people saying that it looks like it's now got three arms and stuff like that. So interesting. Anyway, fully charged it. Let's go over to the old exosuit and let's go and stick in the next parts. So we've got here the body. I'm going to stick that next to this body. Boom. OK, it seems to be working so far. Nothing crazy going on as yet. OK. And the left arm, I'll stick that next to this left arm over there. Boom. Might as well fully charge that as well. And then the legs. I'm running out of slots, though. You know. <laughs> Here we go. There's the leg pack. I'll stick the legs next to it. OK, well, there we are. Um... OK, are you going to wake up anytime soon, little Exomech? Now, people have told me that you have to press down on the Exomech or something to get it to work. Like its AI module. I mean, I've got its AI module in. So here we go. Let's go over to the Exomech. And here we go. OK, uh, I, I don't know what they mean by press down on it, to be fair. Maybe it's inside of here somewhere. I'm not too sure. I'll take a look around. Oh, here we go. Here's the XM mech. Right. It just moves it. All right, I'll have a play, see if we can work out how to get the AI to work. Oh, here we go, chums. It's over here. It's on the quick menu where you swap multi-tools. There you go. I've enabled its AI now, I think. It's still not bloody moving. Oh, there we go. There we are. Boom. There he goes. Off he goes on his own. Right, let's, um, let's just see if I can use the flamethrower. So there's the beam. We've got the cannon. We've got the bore. We've got the stun cannon. And we've got a flamethrower. Oh my days, this thing is seriously tooled up now. Heck yes! Awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. Now another thing that people are saying is now that you've installed all these new parts, you can't actually change the colour. Let's see if they're right on that. Okay, so here we go. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely not red, white and black, is it? Oh, look, something changed colour slightly then. Did you see that? Uh, the, just the hand. The hand over at that side, look. OK. Oh, I thought it did. No, nothing actually changed colour. I'm imagining things, people. Completely imagining things by the looks of things. All right. I think the only thing that might be changing is the cannon on top of its head. Yeah, well, that's that's not all that much, really, is it, to be fair? All right, fine. And that's it. That's that's your Exomech, people. Lovely jubbly. Well, I'm pretty happy with it anyway, regardless of its colour. OK, and I'm going to jump in my ship and my ship just create a save. But yeah, it looks like you can have the Exomech parts next to each other. The only thing is, is you're going to greatly re reduce the amount of slots inside of your tech area. Not that it really matters because this is the storage down here. So, yeah, it just looks a bit of a mess, doesn't it? But there we go. It's working fine, anyhow. All right, there we are, peeps. That, that solves that question, I suppose, doesn't it? All right, got you. 
Well, that's going to be a shorter video than I thought it would be. At least I've got myself a lovely cup of coffee. But yeah, my question is, is why do we need this new Exomech hard frame and flamethrower? Are we going to get even more things to go up against? Or is it mainly because we've just been given a new enemy type, which is a bug type? Let us know in the comments. I'm hoping, though, that these new pool systems that have been found inside of the data mine files might give us a new threat inside of these systems and be more end game. If you don't know what I'm on about when it comes to the purple systems, I'll put a video here. Go hit that up and hopefully that answers those questions. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain